Hello and welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So we do have a special guest in the building and that person's name is Epata Gidoni. Yes, Big, Big Brother Naija Gidoni from Season 4, Reality TV Star. He's a fashion entrepreneur who likes to keep it simple, as you know, with a dash of sophistication. The 31-year-old year, the 30 year, who hails from Cross River enjoys basketball, soccer, talking, walking and cleaning the house. Yes, I said that. The other talents include writing poetry and drawing. Um, as you might know, he's he's really private, so you you will get to interview, you get to see him in our interview and get to know more about him. Please welcome Gidoni. Welcome, Bravo. brother. Welcome. Hi guys. Hello, it's hello, hello. Okay. It's hard to find anything on you online, anything. <laughs> but how are you doing? It's hard to find, right? Yes, it is. It's very hard. Is that I, intentional? Of course. Um, it's not intentional, but. Um, can I be politically incorrect? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Please do. <laughs> yeah, so um my my profile I think is um is very intentional. Mm. I try to stay offline as much as possible. <clears throat> and I try to I love the element of surprise. Right. So as much as it is uh, as much as I keep off offline, that's how much I surprise um people online. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's, yeah, very, it's, it's, it's a very it's, intentional um, thing to stay clean okay. online. Okay, I like that. I think we kind of saw that a little bit in your um, how, your stay in the house at Big Brother. You were quite deliberate about how you were presenting yourself and all that. I want to ask you really quickly now, post, post, because it's been a while, post Big Brother Niger, what have you been up to? We can see a bit of your fashion, um, you know, endeavors online which is it's, it's a standout and it's doing really well but i want to i want to just have a chat with us and talk about what your life has been like till now what, what are the updates yeah um thing is coming out of the house it's been like it's a plate it's been a plate of um of everything basically i've tried my hands in a lot of things I've, um yeah i stuck with fashion like you all know mm. um first love i don't think that goes away easily so um, fashion is number one, and I've given a lot of thought to it. I've put in a lot of work, and by God's grace, I've, I've dropped one collection. So by um, I think by God's grace now, I can call it fashion designer. Before now, I used to be I used to refer to myself as a tailor mm. because I hadn't put out any um, work or any body of work out there. Mm. So for now, I can be called a fashion designer as I've uh, come up with some ideas. That I think some of, some one or two persons can um, take hold. Nice. Yeah. So, and apart from that, I've tried. I've tried my hands on um, acting behind the scenes. I've okay. gone to. I've done like crash, um, crash, crash courses on acting. So I think um, those jobs will come up very soon. And then yes, politics too. Okay. I have. Okay. I have. Yes. Okay. Let's touch on the politics real quick. In what on capacity it. are you it's looking been, at? Sorry. When it comes to politics, what capacity are you looking at? Yeah, um, the thing is, the, the, there's, a, there's a shift, there's a paradigm shift that, is, that has happened already, mm. and um, <clears throat> the shaking is happening as we speak. Mm. So a lot of young Nigerian, uh, Nigerian youth, or a lot of Nigerian youths are seeing the prospects in changing, um, changing the, the game of politics. And so on that? when it comes to capacity, I don't think um, there should be any limitations to what I, I can mean, like, where, where would you want, want to start to from? Do you want to start from local so government am, chairman, the sorry? Senate? I said, where would you want to start from? Local government chairman, councillor, Senate, or, or president? Or are you going big? Yeah, you, want just, to run from, you want to start your own party? Yeah, that's, that's where I'm coming to. Here. So um, starting, there, there's, there's, in politics, yeah, mm. you, you start from the grassroots. Right or you get imposed or dropped on the people. Mm -hmm. Already I occupy a position, like um, I'm an appointee to the Cross River State Government. Mm -hmm. I'm a special True. assistant to the governor on um, government factory and branding True. True. of the state. So I think that's a good start. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know what strata, what um, stratification you want to put, place that on. Mm -hmm. But I think that's a good start. I have started already. It's not just, an, it's not just intentions that are building, but mm -hmm. um, it's a move. That has happened already, or that has taken place. Okay. okay are you behind Ayade's fashion? Let's sorry on a lighter note. 
Um, should be told I am not. The man is a very fashionable man. Yeah. Very fashionable. I like that. Yeah, so, right. um, right. He just he likes um he likes you to interpret what he has in his head, which is what um to me my fashion stands for. Mm. I like to interpret um, that wild desire, that wild dream mm. that you have in your head. So he's a fashion designer. I like to designer. just um bring it to life. <laughs> so with Ayade, he just has um with Ayade. Ayade. Call it Ayade. Okay. <laughs> it's, um, it's take Ayade. It from... He knows what he wants and then he tells you this is what he wants to do, put this together and, and that's how it goes. Alrighty. Okay, so taking it away from politics and fashion, fashion designers and tailors. So I picked in her during her introduction, she talked about you being a poet. Hmm. Um do you do spoken words as well? No, I don't do spoken words. I, actually the thing is, funny enough, I've been somebody that really doesn't like to be in front of the camera. Mm. So because of that, I just like to write and then any other person can put it out there. But okay. thinking so about when it, when you might... start writing, how long have you been doing poetry? Forgive me, I love poetry. <laughs> but how long have I been? Um, I think for the longest. I just love to write. I, I just write for fun. Mm. I just love to any, write. I even belong to a book club. Do you have any up the dome and, right um, now that you can just do I just write. Some of my pieces are out there and um, we use them for dramas. We use them for poetry, for... The whole, um, what's it called, spoken word and stuff. Would you, yeah. would you want to give us a line or two? <laughs> Without coffee being Put jealous, your... <laughs> obviously. <laughs> a line, I told you I don't do it in front. I just like to write it. Oh, my goodness. Just a line or two. A just, line or two. Just, just try. Just you're try. already doing the interview. I mean, you might as well. I'm you're already in front of the what? camera already. So no, just you're do doing it. great. <laughs> I'm doing great. Mm. Ah, what do I do now? What do I say now? <laughs> um... Hmm. 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 That's gone. Is it coming? Has is it coming? Arrived. Is it coming? It's not. It's not coming. coming. It's not coming. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. But, all right. Um, all right. Okay. Maybe. How do? How about we just go on and I'm sure I'll drop something. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Um. Uh, you. You've mentioned quite a lot of things that I would describe as really artistic and performative, really. But at the same time, you are not a celebrity. Like you don't enjoy the celebrity lifestyle and celebrity business even though you are quite well known it seems like you don't want to actually do that showbiz aspect let me let me let me rephrase that like you don't want to show, do that showbiz aspect but your name is still there you cannot walk just anywhere you're still going to have people like us calling you for interviews and all that but I wanted to ask for someone like you that has that type of complexities especially with the with your your identity really how do you handle um, two things. How do you handle rumors and how do you h handle people defining you as something that you're not? Uh, first, when I came out of the house, that was some really um, disturbing thing to handle. Mm. I didn't know how to manage um, lots of that, but somehow, I think with time, because I was so upset at certain things, I thought I would just swing. But um, God so kind, I managed to handle, handle the pressures better, um, well, and I just turned the other way. It's only when I'm asked face to face, I mm. dare to even want to explain. A lot of times I just see these people as, um, I see us basically celebrities as um, puppets to mm. the people that, to our fans. Mm. And um, they come up with these rumors or these um, identities for you because it's who they think you should be should or be. who would amuse them or who would entertain them. All right. All right, so if uh, you don't encourage it, it just it just dies off. It goes goes down. But anybody that cares to want mm -hmm. to know the truth and comes to me, fine. If you do not, I just see you as another um, fan. All right, Gidoni, I would um, just like to touch on um, Kathy real quick. Congratulations on your wedding. This is the first time you've been Thank on you. the show, so yeah. I know it's long overdue, mm -hmm. but congratulations. And um, secondly, I'd like to touch on, we heard the sad news um, of um, a brother, how he died and all of that. We'd just like to know from an inside um, person, can you give us an update on that? Because that's something we're really concerned and our heart really goes out to her. Mm. And um, we just hope she's okay. How is she handling that and what's the update? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for um, being this sensitive. Um, she's she's not okay. On her birthday, she didn't even want to celebrate anything. She just mm. wanted um, family. Um, it's still very hard on her. It's still very hard on the family. And she put out a post, even though a lot of people didn't understand it. She said um, she would rather that her brother uh, be put on, be plastered on um, all social media fronts, so mm. that um, 
the police will know or the community or people would know that her, her killers, her brother's killers haven't been brought to book. Mm. And um, we would like to know what the police are doing about it. And if they are relaxed, um, maybe this um, wave or this um, post will wake them up again. Yeah. She, she's, the killers haven't, uh, nothing has been done about yeah. them. We're still, we're still yet to hear word from them. Um, we don't even know what, how far the investigation has gone because of uh, COVID-19 or because of this uh, pandemic. I'm sure lots of things, uh, so many things have been stalled. But um, the killers haven't been brought to book. We, like I said, we don't know where, how far the investigation have, uh, has gone. And Kathy is still very down. Her family, her immediate family is still very, very down. Mm. And almost every day we have to, I have to like pack her up to uh, just make her feel better a little bit. Right. Make her appreciate okay. life, appreciate um, the living better. Um, so the yeah, that's the situation of things. She's, she's still not course... very, she's still not out of it. I don't think she, anybody can get out of that. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm sorry she has to go through that and the family as well and our condolences to her. But you just I'll mentioned um, COVID-19 and we hear there is a second wave of lockdown or is it a third wave for mm. UK actually? How, how are you coping over there and um, how is the environment? Please make the um, answer really quick because we need to go on a break. Oh, good, good, good. Um, as you can see, I'm all suited up, very covered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, I haven't left the house. You know, um, there's something to say. Nigerians are very, um, they're very law abiding outside mm -hmm. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. If it was Nigeria now, and I want to pick out to see what is happening. Yeah. But I, I, I think this white man won't be very happy to see black. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared there. to look out the window, bro. So I'm, I'm indoors. <laughs> um, I don't think maybe today I'll just take it. A stroll hmm. to the shop or somewhere. To Can you just look out the window? Let's make sure that you are okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm very okay. I'm very. Just look out the window. Small. <laughs> just small. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, if, um, sorry, Gidoni, thank you so much. I wish we. I wish we had a lot more time to um, converse about more things. I want to talk about long distance. I want to talk about your your interactions with the industry. You being there. Your future with um, Kathy. Your fans want to know quite a lot because you are so hard to to catch but thank you for gracing us with your presence okay thank you thank you guys thank you i really so appreciate much, it all right take time it. we'll go on a really quick break but we'll be right back guys there's more guests so stay tuned